This is an order of operations question. Uh, usually when you have an order of operations, you're going to have two or more uh, operations to do. And we use bed mass as our guideline. Notice, by the way, I've got the D and the M on the same level because you do the division or the multiplication in the order they come. Same thing with the addition and subtraction. Whatever addition or subtraction comes first. The B stands for brackets and the E stands for exponents. So the first thing I have is brackets. You say, okay, checklist, are there any brackets? Yeah, there's big square brackets and inside there's the parentheses, okay, the rounded brackets. So we have to start inside of the bracket and now we go through the list. Inside of the brackets, what are the operations? There's multiplication and subtraction. You're going to do the multiplication first. When you're doing order of operations questions, rewrite the entire line, but the answer to the, to the step you're doing goes immediately underneath it. So that's going to be 2.4, 5 plus, write all of this stuff, there's lots of repetition in here, and the rest of it goes in there. Now I still have to write this bracket, don't forget it, because I have to finish off that subtraction now. So same stuff, recopying this, I'm going to do this subtraction, 2.4 minus 2 is equal to 0.4, divided by 3 squared. I'm still trying to get this stuff done um, so that I can get the square bracket figured out. Because I'm still working on brackets, but again, inside of this bracket, well, there's only one operation, so no toss up there, that's going to be 5.4 divided by 3 squared. You don't do 5.4 divided by 3, you have to then do exponent before multiplication. So the exponent 3 squared, and by the way, I like to underline as I go what I'm doing. So 3 squared is equal to 9, so I'm going to be doing 5.4 divided by 9, which at the end of it all, uh, what is that? 6, but it's 0.6 for my final answer.